All right, so now let's talk about the Punch Pro speakers. Now the Punch Pro line is a line of speakers that we developed uh, to kind of meet the demands of a growing culture. Now, in the past, there's IASCA with sound quality, there's been DB drag with the SPL competitions and so forth, uh, but a, a growing culture out there um, has really started to kind of show itself. And this is a culture that's really been developing in Central and South American countries. Um, it's not so much how loud your vehicle could be from a bass standpoint, but literally how loud it can be with however many speakers you can possibly put in it. You may have seen some of these vehicles where they'll have 30 and 40 speakers. Um, in some cases, if it's like a van or an SUV, the rear doors open up and it's just nothing but a wall of speaker. They'll have additional panels of speakers that just connect on and these guys are running just huge numbers. So to address that cultural demand, if you will, in the speaker world, we've developed the Punch Pro series. Now first in the lineup is the Punch Pro Tweeter. The Pro Tweeter is an inch and a half diaphragm, four or eight ohm tweeter. It's engineered specifically for high SPL con uh, conditions. It features 50 watt RMS power handling, it has an integrated 6 dB crossover at 4.5K, and when you purchase them, they include all the mounting hardware you need. Now, these are typically used in conjunction with the Punch Pro mid-range speakers. Now, of course, mid-range is traditionally five and a quarter, six and a half. Well, we start at a six and a half. Then we move through an eight inch, and we even have a 10 inch model mid-range available. Now these are not woofers. These are designed for mid-range frequencies. So you can't take the 10 inch Punch Pro and think you're gonna throw it in a subwoofer box and get some good bass out of it because it's, again, it's not designed for that. Power handling on the mid-range speakers are anywhere from 100 to 350 watts in the 10 inch model and they're available in a four or eight ohm version. Now some of the features that these guys have all metal input spring terminals, stamp cast aluminum frame baskets, a periodic stitched lead wire for the tensile leads, high temperature aluminum voice coils. Now again, these guys are high sensitivity, high power handling, so they're gonna need to be able to absorb that power. They come with reinforced grill mounting hardware. It's a fiber reinforced high strength paper cone, again, for good output, lightweight design, and it has a treated W style surround. So any of you guys that have ever dealt with Pro Audio, looked at the Pro Audio cabinets and they have that kind of corrugated looking surround, we utilize the same type of surround in these speakers. They use a poly cotton spider, again, maximum flexibility, lightweight design. Billet stock machine aluminum phase plugs. Again, it's about extended low range frequency. It's about coupling, great output, high quality. Now. As I said, these things are designed for high output. So, the Punch Pro mid-range loudspeakers are engineered for high SPL applications. They have an oversized motor structure, high temperature voice coil, as I mentioned, and combine that with a fiber reinforced paper cone, and of course, again, the corrugated treated cloth surround, they create the foundation for a highly sensitive speaker that can handle tons of power. So the beauty of these speakers is you don't have to put a lot of power into them. Even though it's 100 watts for the six and a half inch mid, it has a high, very high sensitivity rating to that power. So again, they're designed to be able to be used off of an amplifier in multiples. Okay, so they don't need huge amounts of power. Unlike a woofer that might need three or 400 watts of power to give you decent output, these guys don't. Now, we have tweeters. We have mid-range speakers. Obviously, these are separate components. So what do we need to go with it? Well, crossover, of course. We do offer a PP or Punch Pro crossover. This crossover is available in both an 8 ohm and 4 ohm version. It is designed to be used with the Punch Pro mid-range drivers. As I said earlier, the Punch Pro tweeters have an integrated 6 dB crossover. It's already built into the tweeter, so you don't have to add an additional crossover to it. But the mid-range speakers don't. So with the Punch Pro crossover assembly, you can connect the mid-range speakers to it, as well as a Punch Pro tweeter, and basically develop your own component set. Now the thing with the crossover assembly is 125 watt RMS power handling. It is designed to accept dual woofer inputs, meaning you can take two 4 ohm drivers on the 4 ohm crossover and connect them 
and run them off the same amp channel. It provides a 6 dB per octave crossover at 3000 Hz, low pass for the crossover. And since it's such a very shallow 6 dB slope, even though the crossover between the tweeter and the mid-range crossover are different, they blend perfectly. On the crossover, there's also a selectable tweeter impedance of 4 or 8 ohm. So if you're using a 4 ohm tweeter or an 8 ohm tweeter, you simply flip the switch in the appropriate position. Also, there's a tweeter attenuation circuit of 0, minus 3, or plus 3 dB as well. Now that we've talked about kind of what the crossovers are, what the Punch Pro speakers are, let's take a look at some of the Rockford fanatics out there that have been using these speakers, and let's take a look and see what they've done. 